Today you're going to work on starting to glue your guitar down. You might want to think about putting some layers behind what you currently have planned out. One thing you want to remember is that a guitar should look like it all belongs together. You don't want your pieces to look too spread out. One thing you want to think about is overlapping some of your pieces to have more of a bridge effect. These are all great examples of collages that look like they are finished. I'm going to be working with some of my scraps and I'm just kind of cutting some geometric shapes like triangles and trying to think about how I could maybe put those behind to connect my strings to my curvy piece. Now I'm still playing, I'm not 100% sure about where I'm going to go with this, but I'm just kind of cutting rectangles, squares, triangles, and trying to think about how I might fill up my space. I really like how that piece right there kind of bridges. I'm still not quite sure about that triangle piece, so I'm trying different places. And I figured out, you know, putting it in the corner might be a great spot. So I grabbed a different color, and I'm just exploring. Maybe I want to put another piece on top of to help connect my shapes. I'm still kind of adjusting my layout and tweaking things as I go. But make sure it looks like a cohesive whole. Everything is touching somewhere, overlapping somewhere and then start to think about that negative space. That's the space around your guitar. You don't wanna to have too much of your background showing. You don't wanna cover it all up because then your guitar won't stand out, but adding some different layers in the background can help balance out that negative space. I'm also working on any final details that maybe I didn't have time for last time. This is a great time too to start playing around with some of those silvery pieces. Um, I'm adding kind of a border down on the bottom. I know it's hard to see right now in this video. But once I kind of get my layout figured out, I might want to get one more piece of feedback from my friends, ask if it's balanced, think about the top is balanced with the bottom. Then I'm going to work on gluing it down, I'm working with a glue stick, and I'm working piece by piece. I'm working on the back first, and then I'm layering my other pieces on top and kind of making sure I get everything put where I want it to. One thing you want to be very careful about today is you really want to rub those pieces on because otherwise your pieces are going to fall right off and that's going to be a major bummer. Take your time, smooth things out. If something's not sticking, give it a little bit more of a rub, give it a little bit more glue, but try to get everything glued down so it's ready to rock and roll for next time. Final step you get to add some more details with an oil pastel. These details should be in blue period colors. So you can use black, you can use white, you can create some lines to add some dramatic sounds from your guitar or some details. You can color shapes in, but think about how it can help you balance out your overall design. You can add some music notes if you'd like, but that's it. You're done.